Okay, so this is the first part of my very large Goodwill haul. I'm trying to move these so you guys can see them all. These are all the littles. Salt and pepper shakers, a Tonala frog. This is a Mexican. It's a red wear, but it's painted all the way over. Lizard. A standalone salt and pepper shaker, but who doesn't need a squirrel? in a top hat. Well, I'm not sure. Is it a squirrel? Is it a dog? I'm not sure. But it has a top hat, so you have to have it. And then, I'm not sure if you can see the... There you go. Beautiful work on that. I got the I Love Ferrets for my son, who has ferrets. And then these little teeny tiny figurines. These are storybook cats. This is three little kittens who lost their mittens. This is Bleak. Gotta wash them up a little bit. It's cute. You have a cute toothpick holder over here. Mushroom salt and pepper shakers, which my son has already claimed. Pig salt and pepper shakers, quail, I think those are quail, salt and pepper shakers, a meowy cat, a dog with her puppies, this is supposed to be a chopstick holder I believe, they're actually fairly heavy, it's really cool, um, some more little teeny tinies, I don't even know if it can, there we go. Pick up how tiny those are. Oh, knocked over the owl. Super cute. A leaping rabbit. And then there's this horse. I believe there's been a repair on the leg, and not a very good one. But it does still stand up. Some turtles. And I collect these stone trees, so this will be staying here. Everything else will be leaving. And then a cute set of thimbles. Some, I haven't checked out to see if they're sterling. I guess if it's marked sterling or silver, they're worth more. I don't think any of these are, but I will check them out. This one's really cool. It's a peekaboo thimble. It has this little guy that pops up. And I got this also thimble. It's really cool. It's a red glass painted white with angels. So that is the first installment of the massive hundred and sixty some dollar haul at Goodwill. These are cute too. These are Mickey Mouse salt and peppers. And these have the remnants of a sticker there from Japan, I believe. So once I get the next installment up on the table, I will do that one. Okay, so this is part two of the hundred and sixty some dollar Goodwill haul that I did just last week. I'll go slow and then I'll go over all the items. So two Otagiri lacquerware. One is a music box. I have to clean out the inside, but everything's there. It has these pretty inlaid irises. It is marked on the bottom. Otagiri blue iris. And it does the look of love. And then I also bought this lacquerware. Looks like also irises on the top, but this one's a notepad holder. It still has the notepad sealed in plastic. And it is also marked on the bottom. So those are two things. Let me move these out of the way. 
This I had to look up when I was in the store. It's a Tony Wood Studio mug. They actually resell very well. I was surprised at the price. I can't remember right now, but usually I expect about eight to ten dollars for mugs, and this was way over that. So um, I was pleased with that. Fifty cents for the mugs, and then just a cute owl mug. I would be keeping him, but he's too small for me. He would look great as a planter, though. I don't have anywhere to put plants in my house. And another cute chick mug. These really aren't for use. This is 1995. Something creative. Um, it says not to use in the microwave. I would just use it as an air planter. And everybody's loving hippos these days. This is a handmade one signed on the bottom. I just thought it was really cute. Couldn't leave it behind. It was only a dollar. And then these, I guess, are worth some money. Not something I would usually pick up, but I used Google Lens. And their resale value is pretty good. I'm not even sure what they are, what they're used for. Um, Russian, probably. And then always this cut to clear Bohemian glass is always a good reseller. Nambe, when you can find it, pick it up. It does resell pretty well, especially if it's not all pitted. So I got this Nambe, and then this is a more current Nambe, but it still has the mid-century modern lines that people like with the teak wood. Um, it was very reasonable. I didn't pay over $5 for anything on this table except for the bookends that I'll show you at the end. Um, a carnival goblet. I believe that was a dollar. This one was two dollars. It's made in Italy. This is the stuff I love even though it doesn't sell very well. This pink elegant glass. Um, this one was I think 50 cents or a dollar so I couldn't leave it behind. If it doesn't sell I will keep it and find some use for it. This is made in Japan. I believe this is part transferware, part hand painted, because um, I can kind of feel um, some. Of, it might be all hand painted. I'm not sure. I'll have to take a closer look at it. So, and this is a certain kind of pottery. I think it's Namaji. I'm gonna butcher the name, but I think it's. N-A-M-I-D-J-I -I or something like that. Um, again, it was very inexpensive. It has lots of crazing, so I know it has age to it. It is a ashtray, but I figured the indentations are so small you could easily use it as a change catch or whatever. Um, but I just really liked the glazing on there. A Mexican folk art fish. It's redware. Again, it was four dollars or less. Just have to be a little careful when you ship these with the big hollow space inside. They can be a little fragile. I had to look this one up when I was in there. I've never really seen ceramic boots, but they're hand painted. I guess they sell pretty well, especially this one with these two pink flowers on it. Um, oops. Yeah. I like breaking things before I list them. Yeah, sure. <laughs> this is a creative cat mug, which has really caught my eye. Usually mugs at my place are 50 cents. I think this one was 99. Um, it just has a really fun feel to it. I'm going to break everything trying to go through the camera here. Let me just put some things over to the side so I don't kill all my treasures. I love Tigger. This will be going up for sale, though. Fun, 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 fun. It's a Walt Disney. I think that was, one was $1.99. Um, and then my grandma always had things like this with the purple flowers on them. Um, she loved Fenton with the stuff in the snow, whatever it was called. But this one was a left-in. Um, so I picked that one up. And then I really loved these alabaster owls, but I am kind of ticked at my goodwill. I brought to their attention that sometimes 
you get things home and they have hidden the broken parts. And my goodwill lady, the manager said, oh, we'll just do whatever you need to do to make sure it's something you want to buy. So I was willing to take these little chips and cracks and everything that are on here just because this is so cute. It still had um, a sticker on there. Has another sticker over here. What they did though is it has this big thing right here. You can see I left the wax marks on there. They put the price tag right here to cover up this huge divot and they priced it at $9.99. So I paid $10 for this. Yes, it says as is. Yes, I looked it all over, but you aren't supposed to disturb the price tags that have the wax crayon on it. So I am debating whether I'm going to take it back and complain. Mine does not take any returns for any reason. Um, so that is the second installment. And hopefully I'll be back in just a little bit with the third installment. Okay, third and final video of the $168 haul. This is one of those messenger bags. It kind of has that, you know, plastic, I don't even know what material it's made out of. I've seen some from England that can sell pretty well. It was $4.99. This one's by Canox. Um, so I don't know if it doesn't resell very well. I really like them. I might be keeping this one. And then I got a cased ruffled vase. No stickers or markings, but it has a nice bird on it as Crazy Lamp Lady would say, has a bird on it, and a blue crackle glass ruffled vase. And a candlestick, looks like it's from Italy. I also got these Art Deco crystal candlesticks. They were like two for three dollars, I believe. In the back, I didn't open it up yet, but um, it's kind of a stand and you can put necklaces on it so I can use those when I'm listing jewelry. I thought this would be great come Christmas time. It's got the, uh, the atomic along with the trees and the flying reindeer. He's missing the other half of his body right there, but most of it is intact enough. Um, it was like 99 cents. This is a luncheon plate. You can see the divot there for the mug, but I just thought it was pretty as a plate by itself. Um, that's by I. Gottinger and Company. And then I also got this vanity tray. It has a lot of wear on it, um, but again, it wasn't very much, and I can't leave those behind. It has no markings on it, but just really pretty um, hand-painted flowers on it. I usually don't pick up collectibles, but this is a Mary Moo Moo, and um, the only reason I did is because it had the John Deere, um, and I figured between Mary Moo Moo collectors and John Deere collectors, and the resale comps were pretty good on it, so this was only a dollar divided lusterware plate made in Japan. There's lots of crazing on it. Um, the only thing I don't know, if somebody knows and wants to leave in the comments, why it has holes I have no idea so um, and then brass is in so I found a brass and a mother of pearl inlay candlestick and then this just caught my eye it was a dollar ninety nine it is signed on the bottom I don't um, know what that signature is if somebody knows that would be great but it just was very interesting um, finish to it almost kind of like a snake skin um, it's just very well made and for not a lot of money I like to save those treasures whenever possible and then this I bought for me it's a great set of um, silver mixing bowls but it's got the rubberized bottoms on all of them so it was a set of eight they were all priced individually but I think by the time it all came out it was probably 12 to 15 dollars for all eight of them and to me that was a really good deal because mine were stacking so high in the cabinet so that is it folks 
the end of the $168 haul. Hope you enjoyed watching. If you want to drop me a comment of what your favorite thing was, I would appreciate it. Thanks. Happy treasure hunting.